Hey, folks, got a coffee review today. This coffee comes from Brewery Sylvaticus in Amesbury, Mass. You see me do plenty of Sylvaticus. You, Mike and I do plenty of Sylvaticus. Um, I may have done more solo, though. Well, I'm selfish that way. Um, this is uh, their bourbon barrel-aged coffee. It's roasted by Caja Coffee. Caja, did I pronounce that right? Um, so they actually ate, it's Guatemalan Finca El Dur Azano. Don't ask me what that means. <laughs> so they aged these in bourbon barrels, then Caja roasted them. So I don't know if this was like a project from, like Sylvaticus wanted to try this. So they got the beans, they, they aged them, and they said, hey, can you roast them? Uh, but either way. Um, it's got some tasting notes on there. First time I just opened it this morning. Um, I, I went to the brewery to pick up cans. Oh, the lights reflecting on it. Pick up cans, and uh, this was like on the on the counter, and I was like, uh, "Yeah, please, thank you." You know, I like coffee. Um, so Caja Roasters, where are they out of? Um, doesn't say are they Amherst too. Maybe um, region was. Uh, I'm gonna butcher it. I'm not gonna try it. Uh, <laughs> It says brew using your preferred method, which I did. Brewed in the Aeros in the Aeropress in my fellow coffee tasting uh, double walled glass, courtesy of Mr. Mike. Um, and yeah, with my Prismo filter, fellow Prismo filter. Man, I'm a Prismo fanboy. Oh yeah, sorry, I probably, probably should have told you what it looks like first. Um, on camera, it looks pretty black. It looks brownish, but in person, it's a it's a it's a dark brown. It's not black. It's a dark brown. Now I'm gonna get a nose. Actually, you know what? I was thinking about this the other day. I'm going to get a nose of this first. So, and I already did get a nose of this upstairs, obviously, when I opened it. It has a bourbon character note. And then, so what was interesting to me is when I first read the description of this, the camera's lopsided, but whatever. Fix that after. What was interesting to me, it says that they aged the beans in bourbon barrels first, then they roasted them. Now, I was always under the impression, whenever I've had bourbon barrel aged coffee, that it was aged after roasting but that it, thinking about it more it makes more sense because usually you want to um, brew the coffee fresh from roast date right so it would make more sense i guess that it was aged then roasted but i was also thinking then does the heat then take away some of the flavor compounds of of the barrel um i don't know i got hit line drive with the wiffle ball yesterday in case anyone's wondering what's going on with the right side of my face <laughs> Um, eight year old, eight year old too, zinged it. It was it was a great hit, great hit. Not so good for my eye though. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's let's get a let's get another nose. So the beans themselves have a more bourbony, fruity characteristic going to it. The coffee follows that with more of an earthy, uh, an, an earthy tone. It's got a nuttiness. There's a little bit of like a like a sweetness to it. And I did what I normally don't do is after I started drinking a coffee, I'm like, I should have let this cool down a little bit. Because like I said, always say, the opposite of beer, right? Like beer warms up. It gets you get it opens up more. Coffee get, gets a little bit cooler. If it's scalding hot, you're not going to get all the flavors. So um, I took my time. I didn't rush down as soon as I finished brewing. Yeah, it's got this lovely – it's berry – like a creamy berry. I don't know. I'm gonna get a taste. First sip in the morning. I have today off. Mm. Mm. Good job. So, what you're first met with is this kind of lighter, but I want to say I don't want to say light roast because it's it's still got a lot of it's still got a lot of flavor in it and a lot of body going on for it. has that earthy characteristic it has that like chocolatey berry vibe going on from a barrel barrel character the barrel definitely comes through more so on the nose on both the beans obviously and 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 on the um and on the uh on the taste now i will try to brew this in many different methods um i'll probably do a pour over later this week maybe i'll try to do now nah, i don't want to do an espresso i'm gonna go for pot i could try a few different recipes in the aero press I'm not sure I want to actually waste the beans on making like a cold brew with this. Um, to see if I can get more of the barrel. But the barrel kind of, where it, where it kind of comes through is right at the back of the palate a little bit. It gives you this 
a little bit of an oaky vanilla drying characteristic. It's really good. <laughs> let's, let's, let's put that out there. So it was 12, 12 ounces for 18 bucks. Um, they say notes of vanilla. Yeah, roasted nuts. Yeah, I get the nuttiness. Irish cream. I wouldn't say Irish cream, but I guess I'm, I'm saying vanilla, right? I'm, I'm, I'm saying vanilla in like that like boozy, like the little bit of slight bourbon kick. So maybe that's the Irish cream. Um, over the years, we push ourselves to explore, explore how that can tra- – oh, wait, sorry. I probably should have started from the beginning. One of the definitions of the word sylvaticus is from the wood. That's very interesting. Over the years, we pushed ourselves to explore how that – how that can translate to what we do beyond beer. These beautiful beans created in collaboration with our good friend Tyler from Kaha Coffee Roasters are one of the results of that exploration. Cheers. Yeah, this is fantastic. I'm almost thinking like this could be really good with a cold brew or like if they can this, the guys make cold brew yourself and then can it. Um, but yeah, it's delicious. I'm going to try it a few other ways. Uh, if, if you're still, I don't, it says it's out of, so it says it's out of stock online, but after I bought it, I went on the site. It did say out of stock. So I think they just, they, they may have, this was a couple weeks ago. Um, if you go there and it's on the counter, they, that means that it's still for sale. Um, I highly recommend it. If they, if they make it again, I'll definitely buy it. I'm really looking forward to see if Sylvaticus does more of this stuff. Um, but, but like I said in previous videos, Sylvaticus is out in Amesbury, Mass. They make great beer. Clearly they can, they can make some good, good barrel aged coffees too, right? Um, it, it's a great location. It's a great spot. Um, they have some food, uh, and it's just it's just a really cool vibe, and they make some really great lagers. So uh, I, I I've been going there for years. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, down in the comments, if you had Brewery Sylvaticus and Kaha Coffee Roasters collaboration on their barrel aged coffee, what do you think of it? What do you think of both of them in general? Let's have a conversation down below. Don't forget to check out NerdSense.net from their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. If those are your things, no Twitter. We don't really do that anymore. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit those notification bells so you're notified when we post new videos. And I'm Sean. This is NerdSense. Cheers, everyone.